joining us for this week's Cyber Advisor interview here at Data Tech Studios in Tampa, Florida. I'm Eddie O'Coin, and today I'm here with Data Tech engineer Jonathan Blackledge, who's here to talk about a recent encounter between Data Tech client and a new strain of the dreaded CryptoLocker virus. Thanks for joining us, Jonathan. Thanks, Eddie. Now, CryptoLocker is a form of ransomware, an ugly type of software that allows cyber criminals to essentially hijack a company's data and hold it hostage until they fork over a ransom to get it back. Jonathan, can you tell us a little bit about the CryptoLocker virus specifically? Sure, Eddie. Now, the CryptoLocker virus is a very dreaded and nasty virus. Uh, what it does is actually hides itself into inconspicuous emails from names you would know, like UPS or Amazon. Once it's delivered to an end user, if you click on the link in that email, it starts a background process that starts encrypting your Word, PDF, and Excel files. Uh, now, since this runs in the background, you may not even know that you're infected before all of your files are now encrypted. Mm -hmm. Now, how does the CryptoLocker virus typically infiltrate a, a network? Well, it usually comes in, again, like I said, through email to the end user, and they click on it. Once it actually starts infecting and encrypting the local computer, it'll actually move to any shares on that network as well. As well. So you can actually lose your whole environment or encrypt your whole environment in a few hours. Scary. Now, what are a company's options once the virus has infiltrated their network? Well, the options are very limited, Eddie. Uh, the virus actually encrypts in a 256 kilobit uh, encryption, which is very hard to break for anyone except for the military. Uh, so, you really only can, one, pay the you know, ransomware guys, and that could be anywhere from five hundred to five thousand dollars, or if you have a backup plan, you can actually take your backup and overwrite the files that have been infected. But that will roll you back hours or maybe even days, depending on how fast sure. you uh, catch the infection. Right. Okay. Well, let's talk a little bit about the breach that happened. How did CryptoLocker infect their network, and more importantly, how did Data Tech respond? Well, we found that a user on a terminal server got a malicious email at around 3.50 p.m. They clicked the email, it started running in the background task. And we noticed around 4.20 p.m. that they were getting infected and all their files on both the user accounts and the server itself started being infected. So first thing we did is we did a full scan of all their environment so we could find out where the crypto locker was coming from. Once we isolated and said, yes, the crypto locker was running on the terminal server itself, we rebooted that machine to stop the CryptoLocker from further infection. And once we stopped it from infecting further, we began remediation. Since we do offer a backup solution as part of our backup program, we were able to mount that backup and start copying files over immediately. It only had 30 minutes of production downtime. For a virus as strong as this, that's astronomically that's fast. Yeah. Um, once we were able to get everything up and running again, the next day we worked on a couple of programs that we needed to reconfigure because some of the files had been copied over, and we had the resolution up fairly quickly. Excellent, excellent response. Well now, the big question that I'm sure our viewers want to know, what kind of preventative measures can a company take to stay safe from a virus like CryptoLocker? Now, here at Data Tech, we try to do our best to prevent uh, anything from happening during and customers, especially under managed services. If you're part of our managed services, we actually scan every device in our managed services every hour to check to see if it has a crypto locker. Now that's not a preventative measure, but it's a detection measure. So sure. if you're infected, we can respond fast. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that we do is use group policy on domains. So if you have a domain in our network, we'll push out a group policy that blocks some of the folders the crypto locker uses to extract itself. Um, but unfortunately, it's constantly changing virus. People are trying every day to extort money from people. So it's kind of a cat and mouse game where we update the GPO and they update the crypto locker virus. So it's definitely a cat and mouse game. Uh, the only 100% solid solution of blocking the crypto locker virus is to never have it infect in the first place. Now, for that, you have to rely on end users to be educated to make sure that they're not going to click on those malicious links 
or you could stop it from getting to the end user at all. The only uh, firewall that I know that does this is actually Dell SonicWall uh, that uses DPI SSL. Now, DPI SSL stands for Deep Packet Inspection of the Secure Socket Layer. What it does is scans all encrypted and unencrypted traffic that's coming through. If it detects a virus, it stops it at the firewall in the front of your network before it can get to the end users to start infected. infecting. And that's a 100% stopgap to CryptoLocker. And DPI SSL is included as a standard feature in DataTek's firewalls as service offering, which is, which is pretty astounding. I mean, that type of technology to actually open and unencrypt encrypted traffic, that used to be very, very expensive, and now it's not. I mean, now, due to a partnership with DataTek and Dell SonicWall, this is actually a very feasible option for people to take. So, yeah, it's good to get that um, to get that word out yep. there. Thank you, Jonathan. Dell actually recently acquired SonicWall, and they've been beefing up their Sonic Walls. And DataTek recently partnered directly with Dell. So now we're a Dell partner direct. So we work closely with them to make affordable options for all of our clients. That's a, that's a great point, Jonathan. Thank you. So overall, organizations was operational with less than 30 minutes of production downtime, and application issues were resolved quickly after they were found. This is an amazing response time for a virus that has literally crippled entire organizations. Not to mention a great illustration of just how efficient DataText Managed Services Department really is. From the prevention side, Firewalls as a Service allows DataTech to provide industry-leading security at an affordable monthly price with no upfront costs. This is made possible through an exclusive partnership between DataTech and the worldwide leader of high-performance network security and data protection solutions, Dell SonicWall. If you'd like to learn more about how adopting DataTech's world-class managed services and or Firewalls as a Service can benefit your business, or have any questions relating to the IT industry, we encourage you to reach out to us today either by visiting us online at datatechitp.com or by calling us at 813-874-5511. Tell them the Cyber Advisor sent you. Thanks again for joining, joining us, Jonathan. No problem, honey. And that's all from here. Please join us next time on the Cyber Advisor.